Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 18th, 2020. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of mix, Dow closing down. We had um, S&P 500 trying to close up, missing a record high by just half a point. NASDAQ hitting a new record high. So we had that little bit of mix here yesterday. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have a big round. Uh, well, actually, we have a lighter than normal um, earnings round uh, this morning, which is 70, 17 companies reporting. But we've got some heavy hitters in there this morning. I wrote about that just a little bit in the morning blog. If you guys um, haven't seen the morning blog or are interested in learning a little bit more, just click the link. Um, it will be right below the title of this video. You'll be able to to click that link and go to the blog. But I wrote about these heavy hitter, hitters this morning and they have already reported providing quite a little bit of inspiration. Uh, Walmart and Home Depot, impressive, actually extremely impressive pandemic results. Um, Walmart um, talking about a 97% increase on online sales and um, Home Depot saying um, pandemic sales up more than 20% um, this last quarter as uh, those folks staying home or working on their homes. So pretty impressive results. That's helping to inspire the futures higher this morning. And we're looking pretty good, at least at the moment. Now there's still considerable number of earnings yet to come out. And we do have a housing number today. We'll talk about that in just a second that could affect us. But let's take a look at what we've got going here in these index charts and the technicals. First off, it's kind of like a broken record in more we are bullish the trends are bullish we're holding price support levels we are not breaking down we can't seem to find a bear out there with enough teeth to do anything at all but we're just struggling along here in these markets we seem to have just a little bit of a lack of uh, ability to thrive here um, momentum really has pulled back strongly and one of the reasons is we have just a select few stocks that are really pushing the markets up the index is up while the majority of stocks seem to be locked into consolidations or even getting mild pullbacks but maybe that can be corrected today with these positive results maybe we'll get a little bit more inspiration to fire this up we'll have to wait and see first off as you can see on the Dow we're looking at a little gap up open here this morning just a little bit of a pop back up um, at least at this moment we're, we're showing Dow futures up 53 points they've been up as much as 100 points or just short of 100 points um, this morning we'll have to watch and see if they can hold on to that bullishness this morning or not as the rest of the reports roll out one of the things that I think is interesting is this consolidation and trend in here would suggest the possibility of more sideways move before we reach that trend and maybe pop higher or even that possibility that we could catch that pullback in the trend before we have that opportunity to go higher. So let's watch that closely. Right now there's lots and lots of bullishness. We, we just don't, we don't have any sellers in the market and that's what's creating the bullishness. There's no sellers. Everyone is just holding on to trades, but we seem to be lacking that motivation or that momentum to really pop and move us higher. So perhaps today we'll do that. Perhaps um, it could be that pop and drop event. It's something we always have to worry about when we see markets making new record highs. We get a gap up open and then the sellers kind of come in and take over. So you'll want to think about that possibility of existing. Now, technically speaking, if we look at our moving averages here, there is really nothing in these charts that suggests any bearishness. The only thing that is kind of a glaring problem is that we are so far away from our 50-day moving average here that possibility of a retest or a pullback into that 50-day moving average 
um, does exist and we'll have to stay on our toes in case those bears do decide to make an appearance we'll want to watch for that closely but right now everything is popping here pretty good bulls are in control bears don't have much energy at all so right now we're going to have to favor the bullish side here of this market and with these earnings reports um, everything seems to be pushing to that upside this morning let's take a look at the spy that poor spy and just try and try and try and just wasn't quite able to make it up there the s p 500 closing only about half a point below a new record high yesterday um struggling in here to hold on but this morning we're getting some bullishness here we're perking up and should that bullishness continue to hold new record high in the spy could come along it can join the nasdaq in the winner circle with new record highs on the year. Pretty amazing in a pandemic season that we're seeing this kind of bullishness with such high unemployment in the market. But there it is, and we sure see it um, right now in this chart. There's nothing in this chart that suggests bullishness at all. And any pullback um, in this chart has significant levels of support so even if we do get a selling wave that comes in after breaking through that resistance um, there's plenty of support in here to um, potentially maintain that trend so watch that close let's take a look at the cues qqq new record highs yesterday i don't know what are we 35 36 new record highs so far this year it's kind of becoming old news but as you can see pushing on up and this morning we're looking at a gap up open here again those big techs just can't seem to find um, a stopping point here and uh, prices no matter what the price is um, seems to be um, willingness to buy uh, these stocks so Microsoft was um, the big pusher yesterday pushing up um, keeping things moving to the upside even though we're struggling with this high up here but Microsoft definitely did a big job of lifting the markets yesterday um, as you can see we struggled a little bit here with Apple um, Google just kind of flat in here um, and Amazon really not doing a whole lot little teeny tiny lift Microsoft did the majority of that yesterday so um, the queues continuing to lift but we're running out of these companies to continue to motivate that index higher unless we get some momentum so let's keep a close eye on this just in case that sellers those selling that selling wave does come in or the sellers start to take some profits let's take a look at IWM IWM also holding up quite well we had a little bit of a pullback in financials yesterday but oil sector stocks seem to hold up pretty well that um, continued to hang in here on IWM and you can see IWM certainly in a trend to the upside holding up well we've got some resistance here to deal with in the chart and we're a long ways away from making a new record high in IWM in the, in the diamonds but um, certainly holding up bullish notice our 50-day moving average has now crossed up solidly through that 200-day moving average the golden cross so hopefully we can keep this bullish move going let's take a look at the VIX it's interesting that we're setting these new record highs i keep saying this but we keep setting these new record highs and yet our vix continues to maintain around a 20 handle and struggling to break down notice that even with that bullish push yesterday and nearly a new record high we weren't able to break the low here in um, this pattern uh, of just the other day so kind of an interesting situation here in this chart we are still holding on to the 50-day moving average however the bullishness this morning may continue that little tiny slow bleed down it would really be nice to get this down below a 20 handle it's just kind of remarkable we're at new record highs and still showing this much tension or uncertainty in the market when it comes to fear so watch that closely um, should we break that 50-day moving average that would be a really good or 500-day moving average right here that would be 
be a very good sign. Um, what we don't want to see is those bears coming in and spiking this back up. So let's keep a close eye on it. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And what's interesting about this is even as the market was going up yesterday, T2122 was getting a little tiny pullback. Now, <clears throat> that's good and, and bad both ways. First off, the bad side is because we have so few stocks rallying the market, the majority of the stocks going sideways or getting slight pullbacks created this pullback in T2122. So we seem to have this, this um, dwindling number of stocks pushing us higher. We need some kind of motivation to get things going here, or we could run into a wall here soon. And um, just some profit takers in some of the big techs, and we could see the market really start to pull back. However, the good news in this is that we did pull back. And so that opens up uh, an upside window here. We could move up higher we've got room now to push on up that gives us that opening to make that new record high in the spy that possibility to push back up but let's keep in mind relatively stretched out here in the markets we are up here perked up pretty high kind of priced to perfection in a lot of places so watch that carefully in case um, we do happen to catch those that selling wave now one concern yesterday um, that is pretty glaring. Um, T2101, the absolute market breadth. Think about this. We made new record highs in the NASDAQ. We came very, very close to a new record high in the SPY, but our market breadth continues to decline. Um, a, a pretty interesting divergence going on here. Perhaps we get some motivation today um, with these earnings reports to maybe push that up or, or uh, improve that. I'm not really sure, um, though, but that, that divergence where we've got markets going higher and market breadth moving lower is a bit of a concern and we want to stay focused on that realizing that the markets could pull back or we could trigger a sell-off at any time so stay on your toes and stay focused on that price action don't be lulled to sleep by this market that just seems unable to find any sellers at all that's usually when we get that really big selling move so watch that carefully um, right now Dow futures are continuing to fall back um, we're only at 35 points so so um, even with those bullish reports, we're seeing a little bit of a struggle here um, in the futures. So let's watch that closely. We still have a lot of data coming out this morning, but it's interesting to see that pulling back now dropping into the 20s um, this morning after reaching nearly 100 earlier, right after the Walmart report. So kind of an interesting pullback so far. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we do have a few things to consider here um, on that economic calendar. First off, we want to remember that we have an FOMC minutes um, announcement on Wednesday. That can sometimes create a market that um, is a little bit anemic in volume where we just kind of wait uh, for that report uh, to come out. And that may be one of the reasons we just kind of bounced around yesterday in a sideways move. However, today we have housing starts and that housing starts is looking for an improvement. And we saw big, big moves yesterday in some housing sector stocks. So um, it looks like they're looking for or anticipating a pretty good improvement in those housing starts that could also help inspire the market back higher this morning. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Um, our earnings calendar has only 17 companies reporting earnings today, but we do have a significant number of notables. First being um, Walmart. Walmart reporting this morning. Um, it reported a huge increase, but now all of a sudden we're seeing futures pulling this back. So they popped it yesterday and now we're getting a pullback on that earnings report, even though it was quite positive 
in that report. Of course, I haven't listened to the conference call. I can't tell you if they're suggesting something different in the conference call. But keep an eye on Walmart. Home Depot, Home Depot, very, very strong on its report, seeing strong sales um, in pandemic season here and um, looking really good this morning, gapping up. We also have several other companies that we'll be reporting today that we'll want to be keeping an eye on. Um, AAP, um, Advanced Auto reporting this morning. Huge gap up here on Advance Auto. Makes you wonder when we look at some of these big um, results why we're seeing uh, uh, the pullback in the futures right now. But AAP looking strong. How about Allegiant? Allegiant uh, doesn't look like we've got a report there yet. I wouldn't expect a big result out of that. Cree. Cree will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Kohl's. Kohl's has been in a interesting pattern here, holding this support, breaking through some resistance in here and holding that, setting up that opportunity. If this could get a good report, might be an opportunity in that trade. So keep an eye on Kohl's. Retail has been trying to move up. Um, LZB, LZB, um, Lazy Boy reporting today. So we'll want to keep an eye on that one as well. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great results in your trading today. And um, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. If this is the first time you've seen it, make sure you click that subscribe button and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. I apologize there hasn't been, I haven't been able to respond to a lot of comments. I've been dealing with these doctor's appointments and things here um, recently um, and I'm heading out today for a battery of tests. Everything is fine and they just want to make sure they've got all this infection taken care of. So um, I won't be answering them today. In fact, I'll be taking off here really quickly. But um, if um, you're looking for some good information or some information, training information. There will be more videos posted here very, very soon um, on those training videos. So keep watching back and taking a look. And thank you everyone who does watch and continues to click those thumbs up buttons and leave comments. It helps us continue to <clears throat> to grow and I truly truly appreciate that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and I want to remind everyone that when we look at these stocks they're not a recommendation to buy or sell the S security just a part of the education I provide and um, you'll want to maybe put these on a list mark them up and wait for a trade that could fit you a couple that I've been keeping an eye on uh, coca-cola coca-cola keeps hanging in here as you can see I've been watching this trade chart um, as this kind of rest or consol consolidates over here I'm seeing a little bit more of that defensive sector stock um, or stocks uh, picking up and holding in here so keep an eye on coke pepsico um, both looking pretty good take a look at um, um, altria mo yesterday nice move yesterday nice little morning star pattern right off of price support and trend very nice looking chart and we saw kind of the same in um philip morris yesterday so keep an eye on those holding that support holding in this little trend looking pretty strong bouncing up here little morning star type pattern starting to perk up keep an eye on philip morris you might want to take a look in the building sector um, things like toll brothers toll brothers really strong move yesterday perking up um, hard and you can see it's following through this morning um, kbh um, KB Homes doing very well as a beautiful little consolidation pattern after breaking into that resistance, trying to break higher. So look at um, that housing sector looking pretty darn strong. Also take a look at some of the material stocks like Masco. Masco finally made its move yesterday. I've been talking about this about every morning and finally made its move popping up here. Masco looking good, holding in its trend. Beautiful little chart breaking through. Um, keep an eye on Masco. Um, Warehouser was another making an attempt to really break through a significant level of resistance here in the chart. Keep an eye on that. Warehouser um, being um, 
a um, lumber provider um, is going to be obviously very well needed in um, uh, a housing market that is so strong. So keep an eye on Weyerhaeuser. Um, Nail. Take a look at Nail. Nice move here in Nail, that home builder supply. This is a three times ETF. You got to be careful with those. But notice uh, moving up um, quite strongly and holding up in um, this chart. So let's take a look at a few others that we want to keep an eye on. Um, take a look at UPS. UPS continues to maintain very strongly. No one wants to sell this. And as you can see, it's holding up quite well here overall, moving up in this trend. What I want to watch for in this consolidation is that next opportunity for that to pop on through. UPS looking quite good. Take a look at um, um, FedEx. FedEx looking good and strong, continuing to hold up. Had a little bit of a pullback yesterday, but holding up um, overall quite well. We also want to take a quick look and um, pay attention to some of the metals. We saw a strong move yesterday in gold, and gold's perking up again this morning very solidly. So gold may not be finished with its run. Nice strong pullback, a lot of volatility in here, but gold perking up. Also take a look at silver, silver making a nice move and perking up this morning. We're also seeing copper, copper trying to make a move yesterday popping up and you can see it's trying to move just a little bit higher this morning. Take a look at like Freeport, FCX, copper trying to make a little bit of a move here and come back. And of course that would be normal in a strong housing market to have the need for copper growing. So keep an eye on those stocks. Hey everyone, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day once again and apologize I won't be around for the day. Um, this, this health thing is kinda been a pain in the neck but i'm on the i'm on the downhill slide of this all as well thank you for everyone uh, all your well wishes and comments i truly appreciate it you guys are awesome we'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning and um everyone have a great day be safe and bring those cash registers bring bring in that money y'all take care we'll talk to you soon bye